I had only seen Gado on cartoon, so when I heard that uh, he's planning to start a puppetry project, I, I didn't quite understand how cartoons and uh, puppets would work. Initially, we thought we could do we could do everything by ourselves and all that, and then I realized that we don't have the technology to produce the puppets and so forth. After the interview that I did with Gado, he showed me this little pilot that he had made for what would become the XYZ show. Marie just got it. You know, of all the people that I went to, they were all discussing these other things, and uh, she's the only person who said, this can be done. Across downtown Nairobi, a converted warehouse in the industrial area is rapidly becoming a hub for Nairobi's booming art scene. The Go Down Art Center was established in September 2003. This center is a not-for-profit entity and plays hosts to various forms of visual and performing artists promoting creativity in arts and culture in Kenya. At Buni, a multimedia company, a group of young artists are watching an episode of a very popular political puppet show, XYZ. Hello, everybody. Gaddafi is the king of kings. Don't listen to the Western propaganda with their stupid nonsense. My people, they love me like America loves my oil. My people, they love me like the African Union loves my money. <laughs> My people, they love me like the British love my business. My people. XYZ is Africa's political satire puppet television show produced in Kenya. Screw their West and their propaganda. My people, they love me. Being a satirical program, we basically trail the news. So we are trailing the news. Our job is to give a perspective to the news. And when we give our perspective to the news, and just uh, dress it up. So what we do, we get the news which every other TV station or radio station out there has run on. Then we give it an XYZ angle. That calls for bringing in uh, humor. Release my shit Hey! Release my shit no subject is off limits for the XYZ producers. They tackle controversial topics like the International Criminal Court. We wanna wish you a messy Christmas. We wanna wish you a deadly Christmas. We wanna wish you a guilty Christmas from the court at ICC. The ICC has the jurisdiction to prosecute individuals for international crimes of genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. Former Ivory Coast President Laurent Gbagbo was put behind bars at The Hague, where he faces four counts of crimes against humanity. What does this say for other dictators across the continent? The African and Kenyan society is deeply divided on this issue. On behalf of the International Criminal Court, I gladly announce a fresh new intake into our competitive ICC Academy at the Hague. Africa is still my favorite place to recruit. While some think it's an unfair court targeting African leaders, others think it's the only way to end impunity in African politics. And that is what I'm talking about. I will admit you for both political and criminal responsibilities. See you soon, people. The fact is, XYZ is funny in a clever way because it satirizes politicians and allows us to laugh at their antics. My favorite puppet, it's Kalonzo. Hello, handsome. No, nega na vizuri sana. I love Matakaroa's puppet. I swear I'm going to fire you as cabinet secretary if you don't tell me what you mean. I think it's the mic's uncle. 
Miaji miaji wadi. No nam kona mamrja. I love uh, watching uh, the former president, Mr. Kibaki. Hata taxes hatu tongeza. Ile kitu tu tongeza ni bishara yetu. The music part of it is very interesting. Happy happy I went to. All the girls no one solo. They want some parokotom kotom. They pray for tina tina and titin. Maggie, Maggie, baby. XYZ's story begins with the most unassuming cartoonist. My name is Godfrey Mompembo. Um, I was born in um, 1969, uh, August the 6th, um, in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. I only came to Kenya in 1992. Godfrey Mompembo, better known by his pen name Gado, was in his first year of study on a five-year course in architecture in Tanzania when he first heard about a competition in Kenya. The Daily Nation newspaper was looking for a cartoonist. I became second in a competition that nation did. So what happened is I came to collect my prize money and while here I got to talk to the editors about the possibility of working for for nation as an editorial cartoonist. Well, you know, since 1992, Tanzanian-born Gado has been illustrating for the Kenyan-based Daily Nation and many other newspapers across the continent and around the world. Gado's cartoons on every subject from terrorism to AIDS and corruption have always stirred debate, becoming in the process an acute political interpreter. The 2008 Kenyan crisis was a political and humanitarian crisis that erupted after the incumbent president, Mwai Kibaki, was declared the winner of the presidential election. He was sworn in at State House Nairobi, despite opposition leader Railo Odinga's claims of victory. This was followed by weeks of tribal violence. It was a perfect time for us to launch the show and have to discuss all these issues that uh, people are talking about and all these issues that people are not talking about. Sasa wewe, utakuwa prime minister, sindio? Mimi, ndiyo rais. Hapana, mimi ndiyo rais. Sasa, sasa unaleta muadhara. Hata kofi ya nani, anajua. Unaka hapo kiatia. Mimi ndiyo rais. Hapana, raila, hapana. By putting puppets of the two bitter rivals in a negotiating room, the public got a humorous view of how the negotiations would have played out. Hence, XYZ made a very serious situation seem not so serious after all. No, that is unacceptable. Like the editorial cartoons, the aim is to discuss the issues of the day. And, uh, so we, we don't do politicians alone, but we, we deal with issues that are affecting Kenyans. Where I'm not your friend. You sold me a fake plot. You lied to me. At a yeah? plot. You've cost me millions, millions. You sold me no, a fake plot. You gave me false documents. The journey to making XYZ a success was not an easy one. It all started in 2003 when Gado took time to visit the television set of the News Puppets in France. To Gado, it was immediately obvious that the same concept would not only be a huge success in Kenya, but could also have an important social impact by exposing with humor the social weaknesses of the society. Initially, we thought we could do we could do everything by ourselves and all that, and then I realized that we don't have the technology and, and so forth and the skilled people to do the kind of show, that, you know, to produce the puppets and so forth. Still, Gado pressed ahead, and in 2004, he managed to convince the French embassy in Nairobi to send sculptor Gerald Olewe to France for a month to receive training on how to make functional puppets. 
When Gado first contacted me about the puppet project, of course he showed me a video that uh, in itself actually was able to show me exactly what uh, you wanted done or the, the kind of work that he wanted us to do. When he came back, we also realized that it is going to be very difficult because the latex that we are looking for, you cannot get it here. You can only get it in France or in Europe. And when I tried to talk to TV stations and tried to say, okay, you know, this is what we are trying to do, um, nobody seemed to, to buy the idea. Rightly so, it was an expensive project. We managed to put together a team of people, the puppeteers and the director then, Kanja, and to say, look, um, I think there's potential in this project, but it's just an idea at the moment. Well, let's do it, and then we'll see how this, you know, comes about. Now, that was a few years later, so it was two, in 2007. Finally, with something to show Kenyan broadcasters, Gado felt confident that they would understand the concept. But no. Still, most people had trouble understanding what Gado was trying to say. And so we were again stuck. And uh, towards the end of 2007, I met um, Marie Laura, who is now my business partner and uh, co-producer. Everybody has heard about uh, Gedo in Kenya. He's really the most famous uh, and talented uh, cartoonist in the country. And we met in person for the first time at the end of 2007. Uh, at the time, I was working as a foreign correspondent in the country. And I was doing actually a story uh, leading to the December elections on how cartoonists in Kenya were seeing the main issues shaping the elections. So I went to do an interview with him and that's where we met for the first time. Marie, an experienced TV journalist, reported for more than 15 countries on three continents for CNN, BBC World Service and various European television stations. After the interview that I did with Gado, I, you know, we started chatting and I asked him if he was working on anything else because I knew he was also an animator. And he told me yes and he showed me this little pilot that he had made for what would become the XYZ show. And I thought it was brilliant because I am French, I grew up in France and uh, we have a very popular show over there that's called Les Guignards de l'Info. And that was really the inspiration behind Gado's uh, idea. Uh, which was really to do a political satire show just like Les Guignards de l'Info, but in Kenya. So he didn't need to explain to me what that was or what that could do in the country or how popular it could become because I, I knew exactly what he meant. Yeah, so uh, this, um, I was just laughing that this, we, don't, we didn't know what we are getting. Gado and Marie together formed Boonie Media to provide a platform for XYZ and they would spend the whole of 2008 knocking on donors' doors, sourcing for funds to take the project forward. And we had also a very, very straight in terms of how we want to work with broadcasters because we said we would retain the editorial control of this project, which means that we would uh, um, control the content, which is always a very difficult thing. We managed to raise enough funds, and um, in 2009, um, our first season premiered. Tonight, wrangles in the coalition government persist. The making of Kenya's XYZ show is perhaps the most intensive corporate venture ever thought. As the cameras roll, the crew prepare to film an episode of the XYZ show. The screening of just one episode of the program is intensively hard. This is the production timeline for XYZ. On Wednesdays, writers meet. When writers meet on Wednesdays, more or less what they do is we have someone who's in charge of collecting all the news items from across the world that have been running the past few days. Because XYZ is a current affairs show, we try as much to be as current with any kind of content that we create. Scripts come in on Thursday evening. The head writer, Lily, 
more or less uh, just uh, compiles all the skits into one full script. And this script is more or less a working script. Nothing is concrete. I mean, you could even have written three skits and they're all kicked out. That would be the first time we are doing an, an interview piece. Uh, the female discussers one seems funny, yeah. but I don't know. <laughs> We usually do eight skits per show, and that means that you have uh, some social skits, you have some political skits, and um, you have an ad, you have an interview, you have a song. That's basically the rundown. Mini Mujanja. Mini Mujanja. Mini Mujanja. If you ask me the last few songs that we have done, and they haven't really worked, you should find music that can fit into what we write, can fit into the topics that we do, and I think that should work okay. Actually, when we first started, we didn't really have a clear um, idea of how to write for satire, really write for satire, so we had to learn on the job. We had to make mistakes, uh, we had to go for workshops. Satire has to make you think, comedy has to make you laugh. We do both. <laughs> But when you describe the, the graphics, we always say graphics, na 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 na, at least we give something. Because that's the format I told guys, that's what we should do so that we don't implement, implement stuff. On Friday, all the heads of departments of the whole XYZ show um, converge here for a meeting. And they all and all of all of us go through this this uh, script for the following week. The only thing we were missing last time was to say take photo on set of this this and that. So we go through all these skits and people give their views in terms of where they think their technical challenges, where they think the content is weak and can, and can be improved, or where they think that the skit the a skit is redundant and doesn't need to be you know put into the next week's filming. On Sunday, everyone receives the script. All departments are notified. So on Monday, what happens is art is busy looking for props. Wardrobe is busy shopping around for clothes and any material and fabric that needs to be used. And now the voice artist, which I think is now the critical, the most critical department at that mo moment in time, the voice uh, department is busy bringing in all the voice artists and recording all the voices that are needed for that script. You're still, you're still putting on your best manners at the end, yeah? Night yeah, so, and then, Edward Haemba has been working for Buni Media since 2009. Besides being one of the producers of the show, he manages and mentors talented actors who give voice to the puppets. Yeah, so then, then your voice will change. You know, so you can just, just turn, your, just turn your head so that the voice reflects that you. You can imagine how she's standing behind. Yeah, then now Mimona, so you're like, being involved in the writing helps me get an idea of the voice requirement for, for that particular episode. So I can actually start planning in advance. I, I, I could know this particular character is needed for this, for this episode, and I can start running. You know, if, if, you don't have, if you don't have that particular voice in the archives, that will actually will have a day or two. To, to actually run and get uh, uh, the appropriate voice for, uh, for that episode. <laughs> I saw Lily! Haemba is a gifted voice talent and gives voice to more than seven puppets of the XYZ show. So it's, it's like case. Is it, this, show, this show for cases in Uganda has, has been a very big problem. Because how can, how can a man live something that is so sweet eh, and go looking for eh, something that is that is so bad. Even the screwdrivers they come with, they can't find something to screw with here in Kenya. That's my guy, Gabe. Yeah, like, for example, Vifoli, there is no way you're going to do a Vifoli voice without turning your mouth. Hmm? So like... Joy, Joy, you have really, you have really cruelty me. Hmm? I just sprang from the loins of Buni Media and this way I've grown and nurtured this talent of being the voice director and so I am reminded of peace and tranquility to which mental and moral excellence are appreciated. Bottom line, you just have to look at the character, watch their videos, 
listen to the audios, record, play, listen, compare with, with, the, with the actual person to know if you've gotten it or if not. So be, being a voice artist is actually a plus. That side you can actually capture those little nuances for for different characters. So by end of day Monday, all voices are recorded for the script and uh, editing is done overnight. By Tuesday morning, we need to have all the audio ready. So it has to have been, you know, recorded edited and mixed properly. So Tuesday, Wednesday, we do the full XYZ filming. Often, uh, first of all, we get the scripts. We go through the scripts. Then uh, we listen to the voice. Yes. <laughs> Then from the voice, we, we decide the kind of character we are going to give the puppet. Like uh, Petronilla's voice, uh, she's uh, shy just like the way uh, it came out. And that's what we are going to do. I'm not a shy person, but that's, <laughs> I'm supposed to manipulate it that way. For manipulation of one puppet in XYZ, it takes a minimum of two puppeteers. Because one has to do the hands, and uh, the other puppeteer has to has to, has, to, has to do the head and the blinking and the movement of the eyes. And uh, there has to be proper coordination between the two. Every puppeteer has to feel the movement of the other person. Otherwise, you'll have uh, a puppet with uh, disjointed uh, parts. Yeah, it, 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 won't look, it won't look natural. You have to put on the hands that actually look like the face. That is one, and I also have to wear my glove because uh, this is latex and once you're manipulating your your hands could actually sweat so, and you don't want to you, you don't want to stop uh, the shoot at the middle so you you have to put your hand from the back and then it goes straight to the mouth you see once it gets to the mouth you have to make sure that uh, you are very comfortable and uh, he places it on the, the head so that it can actually be straight. For me, I love the end product. And the, the, the challenge with puppets is not the puppet alone. I mean, sometimes you do a puppet and the voice is bad. Uh, you do a puppet and the manipulation is not that good. Most of the time, our guys have managed to get it right. I mean, it's a combination of all these other areas. It's a kind of blind connection. I feel like when he wants to move this way, I, I easily feel it. Yeah, because uh, we've worked together. I know what, uh, I know which direction he's going to go. So after finishing shooting on Tuesday and Wednesday, on Thursday and Friday, XYZ is edited, uh, ready for the director to come in on Friday afternoon to come do a preview of you know, the final sort of, which is sort of a rough cut. So he does a, a technical preview, which is more or less looking at all the skits that have been, that, that he shot and cutting with the editor to ensure that they technically look good. And any unnecessary content that can be cut down can be done at that moment in time. Now the producers, Gado and, uh, and, 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 and Marie, will come in probably on Friday night or Saturday morning to watch the final show. But I don't see this, this side. I need to cut probably, cut my pen. 
much earlier. Yes. <laughs> no woman will just be screaming by the way. She <laughs> should go and just grab that woman. <laughs> woman's no, neck. but he's not going to she's not going to grab him. Yeah, but maybe we need to just to um just have Yeah. Myself and Marie, we used to write, we used to, you know, we're not writing anymore. We, uh, uh, when we started, we were heavily involved, rightly so. Now both Gadu and I have been able to take a step back because our team has really grown. So we have delegated a lot of the producing um, responsibilities to producers among the team. So now just keep an eye on it, uh, keep going with the marketing and the publicity and the distribution, uh, and the rest is being done by the team here. I had only seen Gado on cartoon, so when I heard that uh, he's planning to start a, a, puppetry, a puppetry project, so I didn't, I, I didn't quite understand how cartoons and uh, puppets would work, because I was from a, I'm from a puppetry background. I've been a puppeteer for, for almost 15 years now. So actually, I, I didn't quite get it until, until, I, uh, until I got to that set. Uh, when we actually saw the puppet and the script, that's when, saw, that's when I realized, oh, this is real and it was very interesting. And uh, since then, it's been uh, quite interesting working with Gado. Well, Gado is like a hovering spirit on, 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 on XYZ and, and uh, if you need some form of guidance, of course, he's going to be there. Guys just need to also take up the challenge. We can't all depend on Gado and Marie and, you know, they're, they're going to come in and rescue us, yeah. The debate on the date of the upcoming general elections continues with no obvious resolution in sight. Some MPs have been arguing that the country was not prepared for the polls to take place in August and that they should be pushed to December 2012 or even March 2013. Elections in December are better than elections in August and it is simply because like in Pungoma, Mr. Speaker, people are always circumcising in Akash. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Yeah. Speaker, yeah. Yeah. you know now, Mr. Speaker, our culture is also a democratic right. Hey, honorable yeah. member, you don't have to belabor your point. We are intelligent enough to understand what you are saying. <laughs> Tunapigana na al Shabab maze. By August, hatuta kwa tume wa Maliza. Asa kufi mapema. At the beginning, XYZ series was dismissed by many. And when you look at XYZ's growth, YouTube rated it you know, as one of the most watched African content online. And our key audiences, in fact, when we started out, and even all through, were Kenyans and Africans abroad. It sort of for me, it gave me that realization that, you know, the stories are actually traveling far. People are watching it. If you look at the numbers, they're crazy. There have been a few complaints, of course. Um, some MPs have called in, like Alonzo, and said he doesn't like his laugh. <laughs> Mostly, people are okay with it because it's, it's funny. It's, a, it's satire. Yeah, we've had people complaining about some politicians about uh, how they look, others about how they sound. Um, you know, um, how they behave in the show and so <laughs> So we've had that. I think that even in a developed country or in a more mature democracy, these calls would be made. But the fact that we're able to operate uh, without censorship um, just, just is a testament to how strong um, Kenya's institutions are. XYZ's influence has been looked at with skepticism and some measure of criticism. But its satirical train still Surges on. The king of Africa himself, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi. <laughs> Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Muammar. Uh, Can't touch this. <laughs> From Tripoli. Can't touch this. My, my rebels hit me so hard. Makes me wanna say, oh, a lie. Thank you for blessing me with missiles and grenades. It's good when I put you down, really gangster from Tripoli. And I'm not a side. This dictator. Ah.